Some people worry about the potential for gold confiscation, but how realistic would a government-led confiscation be? Many point to the 1933 confiscation, quote unquote, in the US, but realistically, citizens still voluntarily sold their gold back to the Federal Reserve in exchange for paper of the day. Gold in the United States prior to 1933 was almost universal as it was currency. Indeed, the USD was backed by gold, not fiat currency as it is now. At that time, a 0.96 ounce gold double eagle had a face value of $20. There were $10 coins, $5 coins, as well as a range of silver coins. The US government at the time threatened fines and imprisonment, but citizens voluntarily came to collection points to trade in their bullion for fiat federal notes. At no time did agents of the government go door to door. A testament to just how many US citizens didn't bend to government pressure is how many pre-1933 gold coins are still floating around today, and there are a lot. So let's play it out for modern day, and in particular, Australia. The government decides they want, or more relevantly, need, the gold held by private Australian citizens. What needs to happen? There is an announcement or an internal memo which is leaked and you read about it on our daily news. Then a new government department or a section of an existing department is founded. They then need to organize a hierarchy with bureaucrats absorbing taxpayer funds at a rate of $200,000 per year. Then they bring in a HR team. They make sure that various cross sections of society are equally represented. They will also need to engage a marketing agency to develop a national TV ad campaign to convince the public at large that their forcible interference in our lives is for the country's good, or words to that effect. Think too of the circumstances within which they all of a sudden needed gold. There would be a strong desire not to elicit mass panic from the people amid such economic turmoil. Regardless, the newly minted government employees would then need to go house to house asking people if they have gold or not. If people say no, but the government had reason to believe that the gold was held at the house, they would then need metal detectors. It might take a couple of hours to check each house, and who exactly is going to have the authority to do that job? Realistically, the government is generally better served by threatening citizens into giving in. If the Australian government threatened fines and imprisonment to anyone found holding gold bullion, then undoubtedly a lot of people would trade it in. But they would only be able to find the people who hadn't developed, say, embarrassing gambling habits and had to sell all of their holdings to pay their debts. Just an example, of course. Realistically, it would be much easier to just dig new gold out of the ground. And therein lies the crux of this. If our government needed money, the constitution only allows for confiscation of gold with market value being paid. If the government needed money, it's a zero-sum game on gold, but a few trillion dollars in managed super funds on offer would be begging to be nationalized. We wrote about this on the 31st of August last year in How Safe Is Your Super and Why Get a Self-Managed Super Fund? It's a must-read if you missed it. If they really needed gold, if say there was a new global currency that required gold reserves to be a party to, Australia is the second largest producer in the world and could mine nationalized gold at a rate far quicker and more effectively than the confiscation route outlined above. For customers worried about government overreach, but are still holding themselves back from buying gold and silver bullion due to concerns about confiscation, it's worth also considering the other options. Property can and has been confiscated. Managed super funds, not self-managed, have been confiscated. Bank accounts have and are being confiscated, locked even now, and physical cash can be devalued or its use outright banned. In precious metals, you have the one thing that can't be taken away from you. And it's been that way for 5,000 years. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and protect your wealth at ainsleybullion.com.au.